there and get your peace back. Reach in there and get your power back. Reach in there and get your happy place back. Then with our mouth fill with laughter and the tongue was singing because suddenly I got to see it the Lord I saw the end of my suffering <laughs> I saw the end of it you're gonna see the end of it you're gonna see the end of it it's a tough period right now, but you're going to see the end of it. All of those things I listed that I suffered, I live to see the end of it. I live to see it turn around. I live to see it come out. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You're going through a season, but if you hold on, you're going to see the end of it. The Lord has done great things for us. Have you thought about that lately? Have you ever had to remind yourself how blessed you were? That the Lord had done great things for us? You know, it's the enemy's job to always show you the negative, but you got to count up the positive and say, you know what? It's not as bad as I think it is. The Lord has done great things for us. And I'm going to go ahead and be glad. I give you permission to be glad. I give you permission to have joy. I give you permission to get your smile back. I give you permission to get your praise back. I give you permission. Some of you have not had permission. You've been locked up. You've been shackled down. You've been bound. You've been held captive by a spirit of defeatism. But I break you loose. And I give you permission right now. I break every bond of your spirit. Well, we are glad. We are glad. Turn again our captivity as you did the streams in the south. Turn it absolutely around until I look schizophrenic. Turn it around until they think I've lost my mind. Turn it around until the last time you saw me, I was laying down crying like this, and you thought I would never get by. And when you come back in the door, I'm laughing and dancing and shouting and praying. God will turn it around. He turned our captivity around. And then the writer says, that you can't handle it. The writer reveals that the tears <laughs> were never tears at all. It was how God irrigated the seeds I sowed. That not one tear was wasted. For every tear I shed, I watered a promise. And they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Now to all of you that I'm preaching to who have not gone through any dark places, this is not your Sunday. You can go ahead and log off because this Sunday I'm talking to people who have been to hell and back. I'm talking to people who have dealt with things they could say nothing about. I'm talking to people who have grown within themselves and I'm telling you it was not without cause. They that sow in tears shall, 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 shall reap in joy. I tell you it's going to be schizophrenia. You're going to be sowing in tears and reaping in joy. You're going to sow it in suffering. You're going to reap it in dancing. You're going to sow it in pain. You're going to reap it in purpose. You're going to sow it in agony. You're going to reap it in power. God is getting ready to bring us into the fruition. And you know how I know? Because all hell is breaking loose. 
That's how I know it. Because things that you've never seen before are starting to happen. Because we are seeing devils being loosed out of the pits of hell to come against us right now. The devil wouldn't be fighting us if there weren't something on the other side of this. And I don't know what you're going to do about it, but I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. It's tough, but I'm going to hold on. I'm tired, but I'm going to hold on. I get frustrated, but I'm going to hold on. I groan, but I'm going to hold on. I cry, but I'm going to hold on. God wouldn't be letting this happen if there wasn't something on the other side of this that was so strong that hell is nervous and demons are trembling and Satan has opened up the windows of hell and he sent out all kinds of demons to try to discourage us. But I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand until I see a return on every teardrop. Until I see a return on every night I stayed awake. Until I see a return on every night I felt alienated and alone. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And then he says, he that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless, that's the word, doubtless. He didn't say you might come forth with rejoicing. He said you will doubtless come again with rejoicing. Look at this. You left bleeding. You left weeping. You left suffering. He said, but when you come back, <laughs> when you come back, you will be bringing your sheaves with you. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. They came back better than they left. And I want to share with you, when God says when, there is a place that God just speaks a word and he just turns it all around. I don't know whether it's going to be Thursday or Wednesday. I don't know whether it's going to be Friday or next Monday. I don't know whether it's going to be March or July. God knows when. All I know is I'm waiting on my win. I'm waiting on my win. And when the Lord turns again, my captivity, I am not going to sit there like some of you high-minded, fanciful, sedity, self-righteous people and act like I have not been waiting on this. I am going to praise him like an imbecile. I am going to praise him like an idiot. I am going to dance like I lost my mind. I am going to take my glasses off and shake my head like I'm in a rock band. I'm going to walk the floor and dance and praise the Lord. I am going to be a fool for the Lord because anybody who's been through what I've been through, I earned the right to make some noise. I am going to get on your nerves. I am going to shout the shout of victory. I am going to lift my voice like a trumpet. I am going to shout unto God. I earned the right to praise him. I earned the right to dance. Laugh all you want to, but until you cry like me, you can't shout like me. Until you suffer like me, you can't rejoice like me. Until you've grown like me, you can't dance a victory like me. Type it right now. I earn this praise. I earn this praise. You can roll your eyes all you want to. You can talk about me if you will. You can send a text out. You can write a blog. But I earn this praise. I earn this blessing. I earn this car. I earn this house. I earn this smile. I earn this life. I earned it. I earned it. I earned it. Because I was faithful when I was hurting. And because I held on when I was bleeding. I ain't going to let nobody talk me out of my praise. No. No, 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 hell no. When God says when, and now I'm not going to rejoice because I'm afraid of getting on your nerves. I want to get on your nerves. I fully plan to get on your nerves. Because God has a win for me. He has a win. 
He has a win that's got my name on it. He has a win that's already established. And I want every devil to know, you can't keep me in captivity. Do whatever you got to do. But you can't keep me in captivity. Not when God has a win. It might not come when I wanted it. It might not come when I thought it was fair and when it was right. And it might not happen when I, when I thought I deserved it. But God knows when. God knows when. So having done all to stand, I'm going to stand here with my loins girt about with truth. You know why I'm going to stand? Because God knows when. As I come to the close of this message, I want to remind you that God knows when. Though the storms are raging and the wind is blowing, God knows when. And you think you can't take any more? God knows when. So all you got to do in the meantime is stand. Just. You don't need the answer. Just. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you just stand in the middle of the storm. You stand. I want to pray for somebody who feels like he can't make it. I'm not judging you because I felt like that too. I want to pray for somebody who felt like quitting because I felt that too. I want to pray for somebody who said, where is God now? I said that too. I want to pray for somebody whose faith is in a crisis because she's been through so much pain. You said, how could he love me and let me suffer like this? God knows when. God knows how. God knows who. God knows what. 
I want to pray for you because I know what it's like to have a pain that they don't have a pill for. To have an ache that cannot be anesthetized. I understand what it's like to be in such a complex, confusing